ask for the truth on behalf of Stacy Grooms concerning a relationship that she's in right now. And we ask for guidance and insight concerning this in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth always. And we cut the deck for you there Stacy and we'll just move the cards to the side and deal out three cards for the past, the present and the future. In this case of course it's the recent past influence, the present influence and the immediate future influence. Uh, the recent past and the immediate future, about a moon phase behind, a moon phase in front. About three or four weeks or so either side there. Uh, the Stacy Grooms right here right now at present. Um, so let's just uh, see what's uh, going on. Let's settle down here and let's just see uh, what's been going on in this relationship that you're in right now that makes you uh, ask the question. Um, we'll just do, we'll do is just uh, rotate the card, we'll flip it there, nice and slow, not to disturb the energy or anything. And uh, as you can see, you've got the black cat. That's got like an Egyptian feel to it, hasn't it, that? Um, of course, it really indicates that um, your luck uh, soon changed in some regard concerning relationships. Of course, we could say, well, it changed for the better, but did it change for the worst? When you say your luck changes, in what way did it change? Um, i got a funny feeling, yes, it's the positive, uh, but it's one of those situations where I'm sort of feeling here as though... Um, it sounds too good to be true, so it might, it might be, if you know what I mean. If it sounds too, too, too good to be true, it probably is. Um, that sort of feeling from it. Now I'm not in any way saying that the relationship is too good to be true, so it probably is. I'm just saying that's what the, the sort of feeling that the look that, that soon changed. Um, it's just just beyond belief how things are happening um, in, in in that way. Um, of course, is it a spiritual thing? Is it, a, is it a, 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 um, a physical thing that's doing it? Or both? Or what is it that's going on? Um, I want to see what's happening now, of course, which will maybe be, uh, reveal the reason inspired you or the, why you asked the question in the first place. Your luck soon changed anyway, but as I said, um, for, for sort of like it's too good to be true sort of luck changing. Um, I somehow sense that vibration from it, I don't know why. Um, you've got the wizard from the royal court there, the wizard. And the wizard of course just indicates really that it's, um, really if, um, um, if you use what abilities, what skills you've got, you can assist others. Uh, use your abilities to aid others in that sense. You can uh, uh, assess them. Um, maybe that's what I'm getting from this. That you are trying to help somebody. Your luck has changed. and It sounds too good to be true that you're in this relationship. But the person, your partner or whatever... You, 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 you're as if you're trying to be a little helper, you're trying to help him either o overcome a problem, overcome an addiction, overcome a, a problem with a previous relationship that probably may be too good the one you're in now and that's, that's going to collapse in the same way that the other one that was too good to be true, well, or did do, sorry. Uh, so maybe that's what it is, maybe you're trying to help him overcome a problem. Um, in, in that regard, you're using, you're using your skills to the best of your abilities, as you would say. And of course, there's just the beard on the, wes the wizard there. The beard often, a long beard often symbolizes zero wisdom because it takes a long time to grow. Experience been there, done it, got the t shirt, the hand there is circled as if offering a hand, a helping hand. 
Um, is this a hand up, a hand down, or a hand um, that may be not in your best of interest? I don't know. But you're trying to be helpful, nevertheless. With the stick of magic there, as, as you guide the staff, uh, the the staff of magic. Notice the crystal on top of the staff there. Maybe that's symbolising some form of eth etherical energy, like a spiritual sort of connection. Um, and you think you you are you are being spiritual or doing it for the spiritual betterment or the betterment of spirituality. Well, in actual fact, maybe, um, I don't know. Uh, there's, just, there's something that stinks here, and I don't know what it, what it is. I can't quite put my head, put my hand, head on it, or put my hand on it, or my finger on it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but uh, let me reveal the Queen, another member of the Royal Court there, of course. Um, we notice that, um, that her energy it may be a matriarchal sort of figure there. I got a funny feeling here is though in the next three or four weeks or so you're going to be the mother type figure. Uh, he's certainly after somebody to mother him and nag him and get at him so he can shout at you and, and tell you off and have a good go at you and argue about it when you do because uh, he's probably incapable of having a shit shave or a bloody haircut by the sounds of it. Uh, I'm not saying it, you just saying the see, sound of it by the way it's on here in the sense as though you're going to be the one in charge or you're going to take charge of the situation in, in the sense of take charge of the relationship you're the matriarchal figure um, maybe if you have got children then of course that's natural but you're going to have to be mothering him as well um, you're already trying to help him in some regard or other and that's probably how just right now you've fallen into the relationship your look changed you thought you'd met somebody nice and you've, you're helping him out, and that help is falling for you because you've helped him. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean there's love there, though. It just means probably there's somebody there to manipulate. Um, but nevertheless, it looks as though uh, between now and sort of like March, he's sort of uh, early March time, something like that, uh, through to there, you'll be mothering him in some regard. You'll be, you'll be basically not just the homemaker, but the bloody... Uh, the bloody everything, chief bottle washer and bloody everything else come, come uh, whatever, whatever it is. Um, I, I don't know what this is about. Why? That's why I thought. Oh, I wonder if she's helping him because I got like the addiction thing or or the the alcoholism or just something there that that's that enslaved him in some way. Not about smoking, but certainly uh, just something there that's enslaved him. Could be drugs, but you don't know. But just something there that's enslaved him that's holding him back in the point where, to a point where he needs this help. Uh, where Santa's little helper, i.e. you, needs mothering. He needs mothering by a, a little uh, mother figure like yourself there. Who uh, no doubt will gladly offer the helping hand until it's time. Well, what is there in it for me? This is the thing when we start asking these sort of things. Well, I'll do this. I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that on the grounds of, uh, well, what's in it for me? Uh, well, you're borrowing the car, or I'm running you around in the car, I'm taking you places, and you're getting drunk, or whatever it is, because you, you, you're not fit to drive me back, so... Uh, so I'm having to do all that, or I'm having to do your shopping for you, or or what, whatever. I just just feel like this uh, chocolate biscuit. Uh, I might just uh, what well, while I'm at it, I might just um, uh, just dunk, well, I might just dunk it in this uh, uh, this nice warm coffee here, just a melty to bet, man. That no, I'll just help the chocolate to. Hmm, uh, very nice. And now, of course, mm. just watch your whistle, doesn't it? Um, back to this again, of course. I somehow want to pull another card here just to see what the crack is and where this all ends up. Not that where it all ends up in the next card for. Around about here, 
uh, end of March, April time. But just for a bit of extra insight into, I suppose like an evaluation report or something like that maybe that <coughs> could help in some some way. We'll just flip this other card, this uh, card here just to see, oh, is that what it is? The Harlequin, uh, the mask of the Harlequin there. <coughs> I don't know if and, some people say, don't act silly. Uh, and then they say, it's not an act. Uh, if you know what I mean. Um, the Harlequin, the mask of the Harlequin, uh, yes, you're doing the mothering and all this and taking care and being a little helper and using your your skills to, to aid others um, because of the problems that they say they've had. Uh, which is different to the problems they've had, of course. Aren't I a cynic? Your look has soon changed, all of a sudden. Oh, it's too good to be true. It probably is. But nevertheless, it's just nice, isn't it? Just in case, to remain on the safe side. Uh, but not to say too much, and maybe this is what it is. The mask of the Harlequin here, just indicating really that uh, true feelings literally you'll will, will end up being masked you'll be that busy mothering him and taking care of him and yes darling this darling yes darling no darling three bags bloody full darling that um, you don't really end up saying it as it is and uh, you'll be masking your feelings about him and how you really feel about maybe get off me back darling I could do with less of this darling if you don't mind now you know, but uh, while you're here, I'd hate to tell my friends that I've fallen out with somebody and we, we're not in a relationship again. I like to tell my friends I'm in a relationship because uh, then because they're all in a relationship, see, and I like to think that I can join the club of the ones who clap relationships or who end them, who are in them or whatever. And it's just nice to know that you can be part of the majority crowd and uh, whatever. But of course, uh, the problem really here is indicating, as you can see, the, the mask of the Harlequin. It's all an act, and it all will be an act, won't it? Really, in, in that regard. And there are just certain things you should be saying but won't be. And you'll be really. Feelings will be masked. Now, of course, will these be feelings, your feelings, of the mask, or will they be his feelings? Or is he too, will he be end up, end up too afraid to say in case you kick him out because he's living with you or are you living with him? I don't know what's going on. But if he's living with you, then certainly it'll be him who's masking the feelings out of fear of being kicked out by you. If you're the one masking your feelings, then of course it's the other way around. You're afraid of being kicked out by him. Uh, so things are too good to be true. Uh, Santa's little helper there, being mother, uh, turning into mother. And then, of course, uh, mother will be too too afraid to say what she really thinks about manipul the, the manipulative little sod who's who's trying to get everything he wants uh, uh, from this mummy sort of figure. Although he doesn't actually say it, I don't know what he says. It depends what your I don't know what your games are. That's uh, up to you. That's uh, your private affair. Uh, but laughing and joking apart, of course. Um, Nevertheless, it will end up resulting around about sort of late, late March, April time where, where you'll be masking your feelings in the sense of people won't be saying, people won't be talking uh, and whatever you do say will be lies or, or, or will be economic with the truth just so you don't put your foot on it. Uh, because while I've got a roof over me, I had a pot to piss in, food in my belly and a bed to sleep in. I don't want to lose all that by opening my mouth and saying what I really think of this. Why am I sort of getting as though the uh, look that soon changed uh, to t from too good to be true that probably was uh, to suffering and silence uh, that, that, that one sort of a result in suffering and silence because one has uh, one's liberties taken out of one's too much, I don't know. 
uh, or one's goodwill has been taken advantage of to, to such a degree and, and, and people are taking liberties I don't know. This is what I'm getting from this. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is what I'm getting from it. And I think for now, I think you know what the answer is. Um, um, you know what the answer is, but you know the cards don't lie and you know you won't do it, don't you? Uh, so for now, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. You always do have a choice. You can change it. You can do something about it, but you won't want to, will you? The cards don't lie. These cards that don't lie are the cards that for you have now spoken.